What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the app called Wolfram Alpha for the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. Now this is a service that you can actually get online for free, but they um, have a paid app that you can download for all these devices. And basically what this service does is it solves and computes basically anything you throw at it. So here you can see I did an algebra problem, let's go ahead and do something else. Let's do, how about 5 squared minus 3 times 4 parentheses x squared equals 34. Let's throw that at it and see what we get. So as we can tell, it actually found out an answer. Now, I would have not taken the time to do that problem because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to math. But if you want to know how to solve this, all you have to do is type solve at the beginning or end of the problem. And it'll compute it, and it will show you this option for show steps. And it shows you all the steps to solve the problem. That is pretty cool, guys. Now, if you're in class, if you are in school for any class right now, definitely get this app. It is really, really cool. It basically solves anything you want to know. Uh, and there's also this really cool option that you can do. And if you want to know, like, two different things or three different things or four different things, you can do, like, let's type in Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Steve Ballmer. Now, Wolfram Alpha will calculate this, compute it, and it'll bring up a comparison between all these three different people. So as you can tell, Steve Jobs here, Bill Gates, and Steve Ballmer. It tells you the basic information about them. It has a picture. Apparently, there's no picture of Steve Ballmer, but I can think of a good one. And there's a timeline of when they lived, when they died, their, or, um, their net worth in billions because they're billionaires. Uh... And that's pretty cool. So if you want to see comparison of something really easy, type it into Wolfram Alpha and it'll find it for you. Um, what else is there? So let's do, let's try and find out what one gigabit per second is. So you just type in one gigabit per second and it says the input was one gigabit per second. So the unit conversions, that would be 1000 megabits per second, which is 125 megabytes per second. So if you have that internet, I'm very jealous of you. I would like to have it. Um, all right, so what else is there? Let's type in 2011 Oscar winners. Let's see if it knows what this is since the Oscars were last night. Okay, so Academy Award winners 2011. So it did find all the Oscars. Um, actually, that's last year's Oscars, so it did still find that, so that's pretty cool. You have this option for more right here, if you want to see all of them. And there we go, so it has more there. And, alright, this will be a good one. So, the decimal approximation is 3.14, blah, 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 we don't really care. Mathematicians care about that. Um, so, if you want to see what pi really equals, you can just keep hitting more digits, more digits, and even more digits. And I don't believe there is actually a decimal approximation of pi yet. I think there's a computer that is the only thing it's doing in its life is calculating pi to the billionth, trillionth, whatever decimal, and it's still going. So that's enough about pi. We don't care about pi. You can also find, like, weather. So let's say um, average temp in uh, Los Angeles. I probably didn't spell that right. And the mean temperature for Los Angeles, California is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh as of 43 minutes ago. And there's a cool little chart you get right there. It shows all the average temperatures of Los Angeles. And it also has a weather station information. All this cool stuff. Alright guys, that's going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed. Again, this app is called Wolfram Alpha. I think it's $5 on the iPad. Not sure about the iPhone or iPod Touch. And you can also go to the internet in wolframalpha.com and find out all these calculations and stuff. But if you want it on a mobile device, Wolfram Alpha in the App Store. Really cool app. I would definitely recommend it if you want to cheat on your tests and all that stuff. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.